Hi, my name is Parmita Carr. Welcome to our home, which is also currently our home studio. It gives us great joy today to present for you some traditional dances and music and art forms from Rajasthan, which is in the northwestern part of India. This is the region of the Thar Desert, and many of our dances and music come directly from the desert, and um, the first of which will be the Bhavai dance form. This is a dance with many, danced with many pots on the head, traditionally danced by the women in this region. And this dance came out of the tradition of going to the river to pick water, to get water, fetch water to bring back to the families, um, traditionally done by women. And uh, this is a dance form traditionally also performed with a large live orchestra. But today it will be me and my husband performing this for you and you will have a great rhythm section to which I dance this dance. So we hope you enjoy.
This song that we're about to perform for you is called Pundala. It's a very famous wedding song in Rajasthan, and it's while the, the lyrics are actually quite sad about uh, a young girl who has gone away from the family to seek money and um, tragedy strikes her, but it's still a very common song at weddings. It's a very popular song throughout the Rajasthan state in India. And um, we're going to perform it with myself playing the Algoza, and Paramita Kar is going to be performing her dance. <laughs> traditional Rajasthani song. It's called Rumal, and I'm going to be playing it with a backing track. Most of the music in this part of the world um, has a drone that accompanies it, so I'm going to play this uh, with a drone and some percussion that we've put together.
This next performance that we're going to do is a collaboration with Parvita and I. Um, I will be playing on the, the bean, uh, and it's a song called Nagin, which is a very, very famous song all throughout India. I mean, it originated from the Rajasthan region, but was made famous in the 1970s with a Bollywood film that used this melody to great, great fame and great popularity. And, uh, and this dance takes motifs, its motifs and its movements from the Kalbelia uh, dance, and this is the community that was uh, previously uh, engaged in the snake charming profession. And so many of the movements are designed to look like the snake, and uh, a typical Kalbelia dress would otherwise be completely black in color. This today is a traditional Rajasthani dress, but not a Kalbelia dress except for this top. But these arm tassels are traditional Kalbelia arm tassels. So we would just like to present to you a little information about these instruments. They're unique to the Tar Desert region of India and Pakistan. And the one instrument here, this is called the Algoza. It's a double flute instrument where you play both flutes at the same time. There's a longer drone that they call the male. And it is for playing a drone that sustains one note for the whole time. And then the shorter flute, the female, is where the melodies are played while you're sustaining the breath for both of these flutes at the same time. Um, this instrument was made for me by my teacher in Rajasthan, Tagaram Peel. And uh, this tassel that beautifully decorates the instrument was actually made by one of Paramita's wonderful dance teachers in uh, the same region. The other instrument is called the bean or the pungi, and this instrument is a really unique instrument. It's known as the snake charmer's instrument, and it's made of a gourd with a, you know, the breath pipe. And then here we have two long, um, two long extensions that help shape the sound of the reeds that are inside. That's why it has that very piercing quality in the sound that comes from the reeds that are inside this whole gourd. And it's held together with beeswax here. And the, uh, again, we have a drone pipe and we have the melody pipe. And this instrument also was made for me by my teacher there, Sheshnat Kabbelia. And the lovely um, decorations in the Rajasthani style 
were made by his wife, who is a very well-known dancer, Suva Devi. Perfect. And with that, I guess I'll mention a little bit about my costume. Uh, the arm tassels that you see in as part of my costume, they are known as the fundi, and um, this is a very typical ornamentation. This one is specifically made for dance, but this type of ornamentation with tassels and mirrors, it's seen a lot not only in decoration and jewelry, but it's also seen as decorations on camels that are also handmade in this region, and they can be very, very colorful. In our time in Rajasthan, we had the opportunity to go to some camel festivals, and we saw very ornate, uh, very beautiful and ornate tassels on camels. And so this is made by my teacher, uh, Durga Devi Kalvelia, who is from the Ocean Oasis of Rajasthan. This entire dress is actually handmade by her and was gifted to me during my visit and during the course of my learning from her. And she also made on this particular tassel on Mike's Algoza as well.